Everyone's got a horror story about marine engines. The fuel pump that died 50 miles offshore, the cooling system that failed in August heat, or the starter that clicked once and gave up forever. But some engines refuse to play that game. Today, we're looking at 10 boat engines with one thing in common. They simply refuse to break down. Engineers design them with reliability as the top priority, and that design philosophy shows in every hour they run. Let's fire them up. Start with the diesel that defined reliability, the Yanmar 4JH series. This four-cylinder marine diesel has been the go-to choice for trawlers and cruising boats since the 1980s. What makes the 4JH legendary comes down to deliberate over-engineering. Yanmar sized every component larger than necessary for the advertised horsepower. The crankshaft could handle 50% more torque than the engine ever produces. The cooling passages are sized for tropical conditions, even though most boats never see them. That means the engine runs cooler everywhere else, which extends component life. The fuel injection system, whether mechanical on older models or electronic on newer ones, delivers precise fuel metering that keeps combustion clean and prevents carbon buildup. Yanmar built these as marine engines from the ground up, rather than adapting automotive designs. That marine-specific engineering shows in the details. Corrosion-resistant materials in critical areas. Vibration damping built into the engine mounts. Oil pans designed to handle boat motion and maintain oil pressure during healing or rough water. Owners report 8,000 to 12,000 hours before major service becomes necessary. That translates to decades of weekend use or years of full-time cruising. Parts availability remains excellent worldwide and the engine can be serviced almost anywhere boats gather. Now to the four-stroke outboard that keeps on running, the Yamaha F-150 and F-200 four-stroke series. Walk any marina and you'll see these engines on bay boats, center consoles, and walkarounds. Yamaha built these with automotive-grade internal components that exceed typical marine standards. Forged pistons instead of cast. Hardened crankshafts with generous bearing surfaces. The valve train uses shim underbucket adjustment, which stays stable over time. The cooling systems are oversized relative to power output. The water pump moves more volume than strictly necessary, and cooling passages prevent hot spots even under sustained high load. That thermal management keeps internal temperatures moderate, extending the life of seals, gaskets, and internal components. The fuel injection system monitors throttle position, engine speed, water temperature and intake air constantly. Clean combustion means less carbon buildup, which keeps valve sealing properly. The lower unit uses heavy-duty gears and bearings sized for the torque these engines produce. Owners regularly report 3,000 to 5,000 hours with nothing beyond scheduled maintenance. Then there's the simple diesel that refuses to wear out, the Perkins 4.236. This cast-iron four-cylinder diesel represents old-school engineering. Make everything heavier than necessary and run it at conservative speeds. Maximum RPM tops out around 2,500, with typical cruising between 1,600 and 2,000 RPM. At those engine speeds, everything lasts longer. Bearings see lower loads, rings wear more slowly. Valve trains experience less stress. The lower speeds also mean less vibration which reduces fatigue on every component from mounting bolts to fuel lines. The mechanical injection system means no electronics to fail. The injection pump is mechanical, rebuildable and adjustable with basic tools. The governor uses flyweights and springs. The cast iron construction provides thermal mass that stabilizes operating temperatures. The block and head are thick enough to handle multiple boring cycles during rebuilds. Trawler owners regularly report 15,000 to 20,000 hours across multiple rebuild cycles. Parts remain available through aftermarket suppliers, even though Perkins stopped making these decades ago. Not every reliable engine comes from the past. The Honda BF90 and BF150 four-stroke outboards bring Honda's automotive engineering discipline to marine applications. The corrosion protection is extensive and thoughtful. Sacrificial anodes placed strategically throughout the powerhead and lower unit. Every fastener in critical areas uses stainless steel. The paint and coating systems are designed specifically for salt water exposure. The internal components receive similar attention. Bearing surfaces are finished to tighter tolerances. The crankshaft is dynamically balanced. The connecting rods are weight matched. 
These details reduce vibrations and ensure even low distribution across all cylinders. The fuel injection system delivers precise mixture control that keeps combustion extremely clean. Clean combustion prevents carbon deposits on valves and piston crowns. When valves stay clean, they seal properly, maintaining compression. The cooling system uses a high capacity water pump and generously sized passages. Honda's manufacturing quality control catches problems before engines ship. These engines start every time, run smoothly, and rarely need anything beyond routine service. Some reliability comes from pure simplicity. The Mercury 9.9 .9 Pro Kicker represents minimalist design optimized for low RPM continuous operation. These small outboards get used for trolling as auxiliary power and on small fishing boats. At trolling speeds around 1500 to 2000 RPM, cylinder pressures stay low. The combustion forces are gentle, which means bearings, rings and valve components see minimal stress. The Pro Kicker uses simple, proven construction throughout. The powerhead is a basic two or three cylinder design. The carburetor on older models or fuel injection on newer ones delivers fuel reliably. The lower unit is overbuilt for the power level, which means gears and bearings last essentially forever under typical use. The gear case uses a simple forward neutral reverse design with robust dog clutches. Every component can be serviced with basic hand tools. The cooling system moves adequate water without being complex. Owners running these as kicker motors report 5,000 hours or more with zero major repairs. Oil changes, gear lube replacement, and occasional carburetor cleaning on older models keeps them running indefinitely. Then there's the workhorse with closed cooling. The Volvo Penta D4 series, particularly the D4 260. These engines use closed cooling that eliminates the biggest killer of marine engines. Raw water circulates through a heat exchanger, cooling the engine's internal coolant. The water never touches the engine block or head. This eliminates the corrosion and scale buildup that eventually destroys raw water-cooled diesels. The D4 architecture emphasizes both durability and serviceability. The oil filter and fuel filters are positioned where you can reach them easily. The belts and pulleys are visible and accessible. The fuel system uses common rail injection, which provides excellent fuel economy and clean combustion. The engine management system monitors critical parameters constantly. Oil pressure, coolant temperature, boost pressure, fuel pressure all get checked multiple times per second. If something starts trending toward failure, the system alerts the operator before damage occurs. That predictive monitoring prevents catastrophic failures. Owners report several thousand hours before major service becomes necessary with minimal attention beyond routine oil changes and filter replacement. Some engines earn reliability through sheer overbuilding. The Cummins 6BT 5.9 started life as a heavy-duty truck and industrial diesel. That industrial heritage means every design decision prioritized durability and continuous operation under heavy load. The 6BT uses a cast iron block and head with wall thicknesses that exceed marine requirements. The crankshaft is forged steel with four-bolt main bearing caps. The injection system on most marine versions is mechanical with a Bosch P-Pump. This pump is rebuildable, adjustable and completely mechanical. No electronics, no sensors. The cooling system typically uses a heat exchanger setup. The raw water pump is gear driven off the front of the engine, ensuring reliable operation without belts. Marine conversions regularly exceed 10,000 hours before needing major overhauls. When that time comes, the engine is completely rebuildable. You can bore cylinders oversize, grind the crankshaft undersize, and replace everything. The parts network is exceptional. The engine shares components with millions of Dodge Ram trucks, so any truck shop has parts available. Not every reliable engine is a diesel. The Suzuki DF140 and DF175 four-stroke outboards have proven themselves on everything from base boats to offshore center consoles. Suzuki designed these engines with a clear focus on thermal management. The cooling system uses a high-capacity water pump that moves more volume than comparable engines. The cooling passages are designed to ensure even cooling across all cylinders with no hot spots. The lower unit uses heavy-duty gears manufactured to automotive transmission standards. The gear teeth are cut precisely, case-hardened for wear resistance, and sized larger than minimum requirements. 
The electrical system receives special attention. All connectors are sealed and use dielectric grease. The wiring uses marine grade wire with tinned copper strands. The power head uses a double overhead cam design with four valves per cylinder. This configuration breathes efficiently, which reduces pumping losses and keeps internal temperatures moderate. The fuel injection is sequential, meaning each cylinder gets fuel precisely when needed. Owners report 3,000 hours and beyond with basic maintenance. The engines deliver consistent performance year after year with excellent starting reliability. Then there's the small diesel with industrial toughness. Beta Marine engines use Kubota industrial diesel blocks marinized specifically for boat applications. Kubota builds engines for tractors, construction equipment, and industrial generators where downtime costs serious money. The industrial blocks use thick cast iron construction with conservative power ratings. That built-in margin means the engine operates well below its stress limits. Beta Marine takes these industrial blocks and adds proper marinization. A closed cooling system with heat exchanger eliminates salt water contact. A marine-specific exhaust system handles both gases and cooling water. Vibration isolation mounts reduce transmitted noise. Marine-grade electrical components resist corrosion. The result is an engine with industrial durability and marine protection. The Kubota base means parts are available almost anywhere. Any mechanic familiar with Kubota industrial engines can work on a beta marine installation. The service procedures are straightforward. The parts are affordable. Owners report thousands of hours of trouble-free operation. The engines start reliably even after sitting for weeks and produce rated power year after year without degradation. And finally, the outboard that keeps working. The Tohatsu MFS series, particularly the MFS 30 and MFS 50 models. Tohatsu focuses on proven reliability over cutting edge features. The power heads are deliberately overbuilt relative to their horsepower ratings. The crankshaft is heavier than necessary. The connecting rods use larger bearing surfaces. Every component has built-in margin that extends service life. The cooling system moves more water than the rated power would suggest necessary. That. Oversized capacity ensures the engine stays cool under adverse conditions. The electrical system uses marine-grade components throughout. The stator produces more charging capacity than needed, ensuring the battery stays charged. The lower unit uses a gear-driven water pump rather than a rubber impeller, eliminating the most common failure point. The gears are cut to precise tolerances and case hardened. The shift mechanism uses a robust dog clutch design proven over decades. The fuel system uses electronic fuel injection with a simple, reliable control unit. Owners report remarkably low failure rates. These engines start reliably, run consistently, and require only routine maintenance to keep running indefinitely. So what makes an engine truly reliable? Look at these 10 engines and patterns emerge. Conservative design philosophy. None extract maximum power from their displacement. They run at moderate RPM with component size larger than minimum requirements. That built-in margin extends component life dramatically. Proven technology over cutting edge innovation. These engines use established designs with known characteristics. Quality manufacturing catches problems before engines ship. Adequate cooling and lubrication eliminate the failures that plague poorly designed engines. Parts availability ensures long-term support. The Yanmar 4JH keeps running, 12,000 hours and counting. Owners estimate it has thousands of hours left before major work becomes necessary. Installed decades ago, it keeps running season after season, asking nothing more than oil, filters and occasional attention. So what's the most reliable engine you've ever run? How many hours did it have and what condition was it in? Drop your stories in the comments. Real world data from actual boaters helps everyone make better decisions. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.